What's up, y'all? Welcome to Johnny Guns. Today, we're kicking 2024 off with a bang. I've brought just a few of my guns to give y'all a preview of what you can expect in the future. Welcome to Johnny Guns. This is a brand new channel, so if you could smash that like button and subscribe, it would mean the world. Now, this is a user experience oriented channel. I'm not ex-military, I'm not a super expert. There are so many people that know more than me, but I'm passionate about guns. I love to shoot I love blowing stuff up, and we're gonna have a ton of fun. We're also gonna be safe doing it. Now, this is just some of my collection here that I wanna showcase today. We're gonna be doing different review videos. I have tons and tons of friends who are experts, who have crazy arsenals that we'll be bringing out here. And later this year, we're even gonna be blowing up a pickup truck with Tannerite. So you won't wanna miss that. Let's stop messing around. Let's shoot some and have a blast. All right, let's start with the biggest baddest. This is the Scar 17S in 308. God, that feels so good. Smooth as butter. For a 308, there's virtually no kick comparatively to like an AR-10 or a bolt action rifle. I mean, it is so smooth. The recoil is so nice. It's a big, hefty gun, but I think that's part of the reason of why it performs so well. So I went with the Trigicon VCOG. This is a one by eight. So you can shoot this long range, mid range, or short range like this. And honestly, you know, I know it's a very pricey gun, but I've had my eyes on this for a long time. It's definitely not something you wanna buy right out the box. I think it's like a little too expensive and maybe a little too niche, but definitely a sick gun to have in the arsenal. I love this thing. Next up is my tried and true AR-15. Suppressed is the way to go. Literally the smoothest gun that I have. Once you go suppressed, you will never go back. Not only do you not need the ear protection, but the recoil is absolutely incredible. EOTech, I love going anything that the military uses. This thing is battle tested. It can get scuffed, wet, dirty, doesn't matter. This is a custom build, which it's not really much more expensive, but there's definitely rigs that you could just buy off the shelf that are a lot easier. Love this gun. Okay, my favorite handgun. FNX 45, suppressed. Once you go suppressed, there's just no other option. Super smooth. A 45, right? So ammo's a little bit more expensive, but the stopping power on this is beastly. And even without the suppressor, this is a big hunking gun. So I feel like it handles really well. It has a bunch of stopping power. This is a double stacked mag, holds 15 plus one. All right, this is a fun little gun. This is the HK MP5, but it's chambered in 22. This thing is amazing. I'm showing off all my suppressed stuff first. Yes, because it's my favorite. It's not absolutely necessary, but like I said, it just makes all the difference in the world. This thing, even with regular ammo, not even subsonic, it sounds less than a little black cat popping. So this gun is about $500. The stock is another 200, but this gives you tons of control. The only thing is, once you get the stock, it becomes a short barrel rifle. Of course, every single suppressor you need a tax stamp for, but this thing is awesome. I let my eight-year-old daughter shoot this, no recoil, super easy to aim, 22 is super cheap, awesome fun gun. I'm gonna end up mounting an optic right here. All right, let's get into some more handguns. This is the Beretta 92 in nine mil. Honestly, 
This is a toss up. This is the first handgun that I bought. I said the FNX 45 is my favorite, but I really go back and forth. This is a nine millimeter, so the control is even better. And this is a big hunk of steel, but why I love this gun for a first gun is you see this? This is a decocking feature. So my hammer's cocked back, I push that down, and then the gun will not fire, right? So this is the fire position, that's the decocking position, which I love because no matter what, this gun can't go off. What else is amazing is that in nine mil, you have 18 in the mag plus one, so you have 19, but obviously less stopping power. But again, this is like the stereotypical movie cop gun. So much law enforcement uses this gun. Military, absolutely love this 92. Let's go back to 22. Here's my Walther P22. Tiny little gun, but fun to shoot. Again, this is a great affordable gun. 22 means virtually no kick. The barrel's threaded, so I can switch that suppressor out on both my 22s. Again, this for younger people, for people that aren't as strong with smaller hands, this is an amazing gun. I have my daughter shoot this. It's awesome. Okay, here is the Smith & Wesson Governor. It's chambered in 45 long or 410 shotgun shell. So this is the only handgun that you can really do this with. <laughs> How freaking cool is that? This thing is amazing for snakes, a great ranch gun. It's a revolver, which I like. It's never gonna jam. I would never carry this daily, but it's an awesome gun to have. A little bit of a novelty, but super badass. All right, we've shot a little shotgun shell. Now let's get into 12 gauge. This is the Benelli Nova pump. Oh man, honestly, this is the first gun I ever bought. So solid, I love a pump. Home defense, they hear that, they're probably running away, right? But what's great about this, it's a long rifle. You could use this for hunting. As you saw, you load slugs in it, you could use it for target practice. This is probably the most all around gun and honestly, if you've never bought a gun before, I always recommend going with a rifle. Pistols, look, just by the flick of a wrist, you point that in the wrong direction. A rifle, you have to be very deliberate where you're pointing it. So I like this for newcomers. The Glock G22 in 40 cal. Tried and true, a Glock, you can freeze them, you can cover them in mud, they can be dipped in water, it's never going to fail you. I like this in a 40 cal because it has more stopping power. I keep this exact gun with this TLR1 flashlight beside my bed in my gun safe for home defense. Definitely a gun that should be in everyone's arsenal. They're not that much, five, 600 bucks. You can knock it around, not feel bad about it. And again, tried and true for home defense. Caltech KSG tactical shotgun. Man, this thing kicks like a mule. <laughs> it literally hurts my hand. Whenever I hold it, you, I do not wanna put my thumb like that. It'll just rifle back in your thumb, so I hold it straight up. But look at how short this thing is. Amazing for home defense. When you're coming around tight quarters or like, you know, walls, doors, things like that. What's cool about this is unlike that shotgun, which is side fed, this is bottom fed. You feed it through the bottom and it ejects out the bottom. Nice gun to have. Again, I like kel because they're not super expensive, but a reliable gun. I'm gonna take this off, put a rail, put an optic. It's gonna be badass. Colt Anaconda revolver in 44 Magnum. We burned through all of our 44 Magnum, but here's a bunch of clips of this gun going nuts. I really love this gun. So it has an eight inch barrel. So the recoil for a 44 Magnum is actually not that bad. I'm gonna put a rail on it, put a red dot, it's gonna be deadly. And honestly, just look at how badass this thing looks. It's a little bit of a novelty. It's kind of like a Desert Eagle. Gotta have it. 
but definitely not an everyday thing, and it's not gonna be a gun that you're gonna wanna buy first. Springfield Range Officer, 1911, chambered in 45. I love this gun. Just look at how beautiful it is. Come look at this grip. It says range officer right there. You got the Springfield logo engraved into this. The grip's also stippled in the wood. This is awesome. It reminds me of like a World War II gun. Obviously 1911s look so sick. The only thing is this is single stack. It only holds seven in the mag. 45, a lot of stopping power, but this is a more expensive gun. Wouldn't be an everyday carry, but it looks amazing and great for the collection. Caltech Sub 2000. This is chambered in 40 cal. Man, this thing is so cool. Here's one of the coolest features about it. You can flip up the stock. I have a little guitar case that I put it in really, really unassuming, but this thing is awesome. Not an expensive gun, so this is an amazing gun to keep in the truck. What else is badass is it takes Glock mags. So you put a 30 round Glock mag in there, you're completely ready to go. They have some optics that kind of come off to the side, but I like how sleek it is. So watch, as you pop it up and down, you see how that, the iron sight just pops up like that? Freaking love this gun. I think I've said that about every gun. I love this thing. Love this gun. Absolutely love this 92. I love this gun. Freaking love this gun. Here is a pocket Glock. This is a G42 chambered in 380. I bought this for my wife, but honestly, I find myself playing with it more. <laughs> it's a little toy. It's honestly nice. I mean, look at how small it is. They call it a pocket Glock for a reason. It can literally just fit right into your pocket. They have a little pinky extender on the mag because without it, look at that. I can't even get my pinky on there. With it, you can fit it pretty good. It only holds six in the mag, so it's six plus one, but still, having this over nothing, it'll be pretty cool. Put it in your purse, put it in a fanny pack, you're good to go. The Glock Roni. So this is a G22 chambered in 40 cal pistol that you put this chassis around and it becomes a short barrel rifle. I hollowed out the barrel here so I can put my suppressor on this or my other pistols. It's a fun gun, check it out. You hear that thing just dinging? It is so crazy how accurate this little guy can be. I heard that like a lot of security details carry these, they're super light. And honestly, you put, you know, a five, $600 Glock with a two, $300 chassis around it, and then you got a short barrel rifle. The only thing is you got to tax stamp it. And of course you need the tax stamp for the suppressor if you're going to run it. This is just a, G a G2. The newer ones, they actually have pieces that can pop out so you can just run it with a suppressor or if your pistol has an optic. I've had this one forever and I just love it and I really haven't found a need to buy the new generation. FN 5.7, look at this round. It's like an AR round. So you can shoot this up to two, 300 yards away. We're at about 20 yards here. This is sighted in for a hundred. So I'm gonna aim a little low. Let's see how it goes. Man, this is an awesome gun. It holds 20 in a standard mag. The 5.7 is an armor piercing round. It has some great stopping power, all in a handgun. Obviously I love FN, super dope gun. Here's my AK-47. This is chambered in 7.62 by 39. Man, this thing has some crazy stopping power. Obviously the AK is known to just 
eat dirt and spit flames. Definitely a gun I think everyone should have in their arsenal. It's a little more clunky than like an AR. So like I would definitely go for an AR or the SCAR like over this for every day, but it's tried and true. Again, not a super pricey gun. You can knock it around. I love it. I put the hollow sun on it. I'm really liking the optic. Super fun gun. Here's my Beretta APX. This is the gun that I keep in my truck at all times. It's chambered in nine mil. This is a great carry gun, super sleek, really thin, no edges that are gonna catch on clothing. I got this thing for 200 bucks on a Black Friday sale. That's why I keep it in the truck. Obviously never want a gun to get stolen, but I don't wanna keep a really expensive gun in my truck. I have a gun safe in my truck. They broke into that and broke into the safe and stole a gun. So now I just keep a cheaper gun in the truck. Gotta have one. Don't want one of my expensive guns getting into the wrong hand. Last but not least, this is a Daniel Defense DDM4 V7, chambered in 5.56. So smooth. If you're gonna buy an AR and you don't wanna go through the trouble of custom building it, Daniel Defense is the way to go. They come fully built, and honestly, I think one of the best ready-to-go platforms on the market. I have a Hollow Sun red dot with a three-time zoom in the back, and then nice flashlight, just the click of the thumb right there. This puppy is ready to go. All right, y'all, I hope you enjoyed. This is a few guns for my collection. There's a wide array here. Pistols, rifles, shotguns, beginners to more advanced. So like I said, guys, like, subscribe, share. It would mean the world. We're gonna have a ton of fun. So much badass stuff coming. You're not gonna wanna miss it. Thank y'all.